Hey YouTube Rando here. Today I wanted to go over something uh, I think a lot of people neglect in their packs um, and that's their feet. You know you should always carry a good pair of uh, hiking boots or good pair of w at least some good walking shoes. I use tennis shoes but that's because that's what I'm comfortable in. Just a good pair of comfortable shoes <coughs> Excuse me. that you know is comfortable is what you should carry with you but on top of that should carry a little bit of medical for your feet. Uh, if something happens to your foot and you're hiking and you're five miles in, well then you have to track five miles out to uh, get it taken care of. So here's what I do. This is what I carry on top of my first aid kits. I'll put a little light on it. Is these uh, wound care packs. And these are specially formulated for feet, but you can use any of this stuff on any kind of wound. Uh, let's just jump into it. So this is what you would use first. And this is like the shoestring packing they use for opened wounds so the wound will heal from the uh, inside out instead of the outside in because usually if the wound closes up it won't heal correctly. Uh, so you can see here there's you know there's the meat, there's the meat, there's the hole you just shove this packing down inside the wound on your foot and then this is a medicated pad that, and it's also really thick you can see how thick it is it's nice and thick so it gives you cushion on that wound so you can still walk on it so you would shove this inside the wound then put this over it Then you would take this uh, large piece of gauze and stick it over it, stick it over this pad. And I believe this pad goes this side down. And uh, you would stick this over it. And then take your stretchy gauze here, which this is a piece of four inch by four yards of uh, gauze. And you would wrap it. It's forming gauze. It'll form around the foot. Uh, I call it like a disposable ace bandage, but it's actually called a conforming bandage. So, this is what would hold everything together. So, you don't actually need tape. You would just use this and then fold it under. And it even comes with a pair of gloves for when you're cleaning it up. You're not getting it dirty again when you're uh, packing it. If you have to actually touch the wound, you want to wear these. So, this is just a nice little kit. They sell these kits at... Uh, Walgreens, CVS, any kind of pharmacy, you can usually find a good uh, foot wound care kit. And you see I have two of them. Well, that's just, if I'm two days out, usually if we go out on a camping trip, it's going to be for two days, so I would like to change the wound out both days if necessary. <coughs> Which, if it's bad enough, I would consider it necessary. Or, you know, I'm going to bathe that night. Uh, we use solar showers when we go out. But we do bring them with us, fill them up in the creek, and then set them out in the sun for, you know, nighttime. We can all take our showers. And I would change it out again after that. But you can just... This weighs nothing. You know, this is maybe an ounce. You know, it takes up a little bit of space is all. And if you're backpacking, you're counting every ounce. I understand that. But this is essential. You know, if... uh Say you just do something like you take your shoes off, let your feet rest, and you stick a, a sharp stick through your foot or something. Well, then you need to take care of that to be able to get out of there. So I find these packs pretty necessary. Uh, even if it is just for a bug out bag, if you're bugging out and you're on foot, you know, it could be a problem if you have a foot wound. Even if it's just a... Uh, a blister. A blister can turn into uh, infection really quick so you would want to keep that blister covered up and you could use these. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily use this for that or the pad but you could uh, well you could use the pad and just the gauze and then have this and this left over. So a bunch of uses. Uh, you can use it for other wounds as well. Like I said you probably wouldn't use this unless you had a spider bite or something that left a void. Uh, say you got bit by a spider, it festers up when you cut it and lance it. 
it's going to leave a large void in your skin you would pack that void with this because again you want that wound to heal from the inside out not the outside in because the inside won't heal after it heals over it, it it's done healing it's not going to heal the inside it's going to actually send white blood cells to that wound and it'll cause pus uh, and then you get a f an infection so this is this stuff right here is uh, really good I plan on buying a couple of extra packs and just throwing it in here just for that reason but that's going to be it for this one uh, we'll have another medical kit coming up soon uh, I want a contest with Live for Wild and him and uh, Into the Pickers are sending me a first aid kit so we're going to do a video on it uh, we're going to put it together they actually they're, they're just sending me a bunch of medical stuff and a bag a first aid bag and we're going to put it together on camera so be looking for that one. As always, thanks for watching YouTube.